port and starboard are nautical terms which refer to the left and right sides, respectively, of a ship as perceived by a person on board facing the bow. In lay terms, when standing on the bridge of a ship looking toward the bow, starboard refers to the right side of the ship, port refers to the left side. At night, the port side of a vessel is indicated with a red navigation light and the starboard side with a green one. These terms can also be applied to aircraft, particularly to airships in naval use, and eventually for all forms of heavier-than-air aircraft, particularly for the waterborne seaplane, existing in both float plane and especially for flying boats of both civilian and military types, with aircraft of all types even adopting similar navigation lights to those of boats and ships. The starboard side of most naval vessels the world over is designated the senior side. The officer's gangway or sea ladder is shipped on this side and this side the quarter deck is reserved for the captain. The flag or pennant of the ship's captain or senior officer in command is generally hoisted on the starboard yard. Etymology, starboard. The origin of the term starboard comes from early boating practices. Before ships had rudders on their center lines, they were steered by use of a specialized steering oar. This oar was held by an oarsman located in the stern of the ship. However, similar to now, there were many more right-handed sailors than left-handed sailors. This meant that the steering oar used to be affixed to the right side of the ship. The word starboard comes from Old English starboard, literally meaning the side on which the ship is steered, cognate with the Old Norse words star one half re meaning rudder, and bora degree meaning etymologically board, then the side of a ship. Port, an early version of port is larboard, which itself derives from Middle English laidboard. In Old English the word was barkboard, of which cognates are used in other European languages, for example as the German backboard and the French term bar sent board. The origin of laid has not been determined but some would connect it with the verb laid, referring to the side on which cargo was loaded. The term larboard, when shouted in the wind was presumably too easy to confuse with starboard and so the word port came to replace it. Port is derived from the practice of sailors mirroring ships on the left side at ports in order to prevent the steering or from being crushed. Larboard continued to be used well into the 1850s by whalers, despite being long superseded by port in the merchant vessel service at the time. Port was not officially adopted by the Royal Navy until 1844. Robert Fitzroy Captain of Darwin's HMS Beagle, is said to have taught his crew to use the term port instead of larboard, thus propelling the use of the word into the naval service's vocabulary. History Before modern standardization, quartermasters were advised to follow the rotation of the bottom of the wheel. Thus, when obeying a harder starboard command, the QM would turn the bottom of the wheel to the right, or starboard. This applied the left rudder and the ship turned to its left. Or to port. Steering with the bottom of the wheel was apparently an approved way to learn helming more than a century ago. The nautical reason for a harder starboard command to turn left seems related to the tiller and not the rudder. A tiller is pushed to the right, or starboard, to apply left rudder and turn the vessel to the left. Right of way for other vessels, vessels at sea do not actually have any right of way a euro they may be, correctly, in the position of being the stand on vessel or the give-way vessel. Therefore, at no time should any vessel actually navigate its way into a collision, and the regulations are clear that no one in command of a vessel may assume a right of way up to a point of collision. Consider two ships on courses that intersect. The ordinary rule is that the ship on the left must give way. The stand-on vessel sees the green light on the starboard side of the ship on the left that is, give-way vessel. The giveaway vessel sees the red light on the port side of the stand on vessel. If the courses are intersecting, the helmsman usually gives way to a red light by going around the stern of the stand on vessel. There are other rules governing which is a stand on vessel, such as the wind based rules for sailing vessels, powered ships giving way to sailing ships, and all other ships giving way to powered vessels that are constrained by their draft or restricted in their ability to maneuver. Therefore the green light does not mean an unqualified go, but rather it means proceed with caution subject to other rules applying. The earliest railway signals went red-white for stoke go following this naval practice and we only later changed to the more familiar red-green.
the very simple application of red light and green light is to remember the rhyme of to starboard red appear, tis your duty to keep clear meaning that if the helmsman sees a red light on his starboard side he is the give way vessel. The sailing rule that dictates that a sailing vessel on starboard tack is the stand on vessel is as old as any other regulation. Likewise, if on the same tack, a sailing vessel that is upwind of another is the give way vessel. When ships still had rudders on the starboard of a vessel, the rudder can lift farther out of the water on a starboard tack due to the boat being heeled over in high winds. This caused the boat on a starboard tack to have less control than a vessel on port tack and therefore the port tack vessel must give way. Sidelights Sidelights are lit on the port and starboard side on vessels at night to indicate starboard bow with a green light, and port bow with a red light, each lit from right ahead to 22.5 degrees abaft the beam on its corresponding side. In international waters, the lighting of vessel is standardized in A section 23 part CCOLREG. Mnemonic devices, regarding directional navigation lights, red, right, returning is a common mnemonic used by sailors to remember which side is which and direction of movement when observing other craft on the water at night. For example, if the sailor sees lights on the horizon with a red light on the observer's right side, the observer knows the craft is moving toward him, not away. The mnemonic refers to, red, right, returning. There are a number of mnemonics that have been used day or night to remember which sides are port and starboard, a ship that is sailing out to the ocean has left port. The sailor left port with a red nose. Port and left both contain four letters. Port wine is red, so is the port light. Port is not right for children, the phrase any red port left in the can can be a useful reminder. It breaks down as follows, the drink port is a fortified red winey euro, which links the word port with the color red, used for navigational lights. Left comes from the phrase and so port must be on the left. The reference to can relates to the fact that port hand boys are can shaped. A variation on the above is two drops of red port left in the bottle. Another variation, port is the red wine that is left in the glass. The common abbreviation PS can be viewed as port and starboard. Starlight, star bright, starboard is to the right. There is no red port wine left. Terms referring to the right side are longer words, while terms referring to the other side are shorter words. Starboard contains two letter RS, compared to only one in port. Therefore, starboard refers to the right side. Red is the representative color for some major ideologies of the political left, for example socialism or communism. Whereas green is the color of U.S. cash and is often synonymous with wealth. In countries that drive on the left side of the road, if someone is drinking port, they should be on the passenger side. The star of the boat, or person who is in control of the boat, is on the driver's side. Port and starboard are in alphabetical order, which can be associated in European languages with reading from left to right. So they are in the same order as reading text. Left and right are in the same order. Green has two E's, starboard has two R's, so starboard, green right. The word starboard comes from Old English starboard literally meaning the side on which the ship is steered. Thus, the word starboard means steering side which came to mean the right side because there are more right-handed people. Another logical analogy could be that most sailors are right-handed and sitting on the port left side, with the tiller in the right hand, is more natural for a right-hander, and the ideal position to watch the lee shore for obstructions and depths of the water, when coming into port. With the land at left there are fewer stars that can be observed than at the right where the sky extends all the way to the ocean's horizon, thus the right side is the starboard side. To further explain using this logic, the rules of the road, at sea are that a sailboat on a starboard tack has right of way over one on port tack. Since most helmsmen are sitting on the port side they have a clear view of traffic versus looking past the sails and other obstructions while steering on a starboard tack. Port is short. The word left has fewer letters than the word right, and is therefore shorter. Port is the left side and this mnemonic device is making reference to the shorter word. Boys, a port boy is a lateral boy used to guide vessels through channels or close to shallow water. 
the port buoy is one that a vessel must leave to port when passing upstream. If an international association of lighthouse authorities area A, the port buoys are red. If in IALA area B then the handedness of voyage is reversed, and a vessel leaves black or green buoys to port. Mnemonic devices for buoys in IALA area B, best people on earth equals black port on entering, RRR equals red right returning, use in aviation, as aerodynamically controllable, powered aircraft of both lighter than air and heavier than air forms evolved, the nautical practice of using port and starboard for aircraft began to be considered for aeronautical use, following the first successful seaplane flight in late March of 1910, and the adoption of airships by naval forces, the term began to become mainstream, with their full adoption occurring with the success of flying boat waterborne aircraft early in the 20th century. See also, bow, navigation light, stern, references. Further reading, Herisov, Halsey, the Sailor or a Euro Unregistered Trademark S Handbook, Little Brown and Company, Jobson, Gary Sailing Fundamentals, Simon and Schuster, Maloney, Albert S. Chapman Piloting, Seamanship and Small Boat Handling, Hearst Marine Books, New York, Rose Manier, John The Annapolis Book of Seamanship, Simon and Schuster, Seedman, David The Complete Sailor, International Marine, External Links. The Origins of Port and Starboard at the UK National Maritime Museum website